Deadpool 3 is in the air. I'm touching myself tonight. What's going on guys, I'm Chris and welcome back to another video. So today I'm talking about some pretty big updates for Deadpool 3. This is the new Deadpool film, the third in the trilogy, but it marks the first time we've seen the Merc with the Mouth enter the MCU. I'm over the moon excited for this. Right now it's actually my most anticipated upcoming MCU project in phase five or phase six combined. But before I talk about some pretty big updates we just got for the movie, be sure to hit that like button. Comment down below some of your predictions for Deadpool 3. Who do you think is gonna show up? Do you think this movie is gonna be good or bad? Are you worried about it being in the MCU? Let me know all that and more in the comments down below. Subscribe into that notification bell to help reach my goal of 85,000 subscribers here on the channel. And of course, check out my Patreon link down below. I just revamped it where you get access to early videos, the Discord server, exclusive videos, Videos, live Q and A's and more. Again, that is all linked down below. Any support goes a long way, so feel free to check that out. All right, so when it comes to Deadpool 3, the movie is currently slated to release May 3rd of 2024, which is not that far out from right now. It's about 10 months out, which sounds weird because it's 2024, but hey, we're not that far from this movie actually releasing, assuming it doesn't get delayed anymore, but it is currently filming right now. And again, this movie features the return of Ryan Reynolds as Deadpool. The big draw here, aside from the fact that Deadpool's in the MCU, is that Hugh Jackman is coming out of retirement in the role of Wolverine to play him for presumably one last ride here in the MCU. And originally the movie sort of pitches like this buddy road trip between the two of them. So that automatically had me sold. When they dropped like a promotional video, I want to say sometime last year, where they dropped the Deadpool 3 logo as well as a preliminary release date and the fact that Hugh Jackman and Ryan Reynolds would both be starring in this movie together that already had this movie pretty high on my overall most anticipated movies list let alone the MCU it's pretty high there right now it's number one I have really high expectations for this movie and then you've got Sean Levy directing the film that was announced for those who don't know Sean Levy done a lot of work on Stranger Things one of my favorite shows he's directed multiple episodes he's a producer on the show so that has me excited. He's also done great work on films like The Atom Project, of course, with Ryan Reynolds, and Free Guy, also with Ryan Reynolds and Joe Keery in that movie as well. So when it comes down to this film, it's shaping up to be great. You've got the return of Hugh Jackman's Wolverine, Deadpool's back. You've got characters like Negasonic Teenage Warhead, Vanessa, Dopinder. These are all staples of those original films, and they're returning for this movie. Even Colossus and Peter, played by Rob Delaney from Deadpool 2, are all coming back for this film. So it's straight up a Deadpool 3. Now, there are a lot of questions in terms of how they're going to introduce this character into the MCU timeline, but I think that Deadpool's going to go about this in a way that's going to be pretty comedic, and I'm not too worried because he can literally break the fourth wall and be like, look, I don't get this shit either, but let's just roll with it. <laughs> I can already see Ryan Reynolds just cracking a perfect joke that's like, hey, this doesn't really make sense, but we have to do whatever we have to do to get me, Deadpool, into the MCU, so deal with it. And I'm ready to just accept that and move on with my life because it's going to be worth it to see Wolverine on the big screen again, especially with Deadpool. And there have been reports as well that the movie's going to be rated R, a hard R rating, just like the first two. So because it's in the MCU, my biggest worry was, is this going to be a watered down take on Deadpool? Well, recently, the actor who played Dopinder has said, no, they're going hard R with it, just like the first two. Ryan Reynolds wouldn't do this if he couldn't do his full bit or fully commit to the role. So that has me at ease a little bit. Plus, Kevin Feige has also said it's going to be R rated. So that is a huge win. But there's two really big updates for this movie that happened like within the past week. First, we got our first official like set pick leak of Ryan Reynolds in the new Deadpool suit. Now, it looks fairly similar to the one from the first two movies. The major difference to me is that it's a little more of a bright red that pops more, whereas in the first two films, it's a bit of a more faded, sort of darker red, almost like maroon. This is more of a red with a flare, almost like cherry red, I would say. And from the set pics, it looks a little less worn in, like almost no wrinkles, and it almost looks polished in a way, whereas in the first one, it's more tattered. So it just comes down to personal preference, but also this is a set pick. Pick. Anytime we get a set pick released from an upcoming superhero movie costume, we always put too much emphasis on it because it's going to look completely different in the movie when you've got an official shot from the film. Like, this is taken on someone's phone, <laughs> so obviously it's not meant to be seen as a final product. Um, I don't think it's going to look vastly different from the first suit, you know, in, in Deadpool 1 and Deadpool 2, but it definitely has a few little slight modifications here. It's worth noting Ryan Reynolds is not in makeup on the set. Like, he does, his face doesn't look like the messed up face of Deadpool. It just looks like Ryan Reynolds' face, which... Makes sense if he's under the mask, they don't need to put all that makeup on him. Unless it's a scene where he's out of the mask, then it would be necessary, but that's a topic for a whole other time. So we got our first official look at him as Deadpool, and I really wish that 
Marvel Studios was going to San Diego Comic-Con next week because then we could get an announcement for the movie in terms of here's our first look at Hugh Jackman in the Wolverine suit, or here's our first official look at Ryan Reynolds in Deadpool 3. But at the same time, with the current state of the writer's strike and the industry, it's probably smart that a lot of these big studios are skipping San Diego Comic-Con because they don't want to give us false hope or anything like that. But the main purpose of this video, one of the biggest updates that's going to kind of segue into this whole multiversal conversation is that Jennifer Garner is returning as Elektra in this movie. Jennifer Garner played Elektra in the 2003 Daredevil movie and then the spin-off movie Elektra. Neither of those were hits at the box office, neither of those were well received by fans, and I've actually never seen either of those movies. Because she's in this movie, I'm probably going to watch them now before Deadpool 3 so I can be fully in the know. But my whole life, these two movies have been kind of fun and just completely disrespected, so I never gave them the time of day to fully watch them. Now it seems like I will be because her character's coming back. Now there is no confirmation on the extent of her role, like whether or not she's going to be a main character or if she's going to make like a quick cameo appearance to be the butt end of a joke. If I had to put money on it, she's not going to have a huge role in this movie. It's literally going to be a scene where Deadpool is like going through these different portals and he's like, oh, what the f***, Elektra? <laughs> like something along those lines where he makes a joke about the fact that this character actually exists. But at the same time, they could bring her in and make her a main character for some weird reason. But that opens the door, in my opinion, to bringing Affleck back as Daredevil. Now, there were reports during the like whole Multiverse of Madness speculation theorizing days that Ben Affleck had been asked to come on to be in Multiverse of Madness. And I wonder if it was actually for Deadpool 3. Because I remember hearing all these reports, they wanted to get a ton of people from Multiverse of Madness, like Ian Gruffitt as Mr. Fantastic, literally think of anyone who's ever played a Marvel hero in the MCU or otherwise, they wanted to get them in Multiverse of Madness at one point. And so my, my thought process here is we didn't really see that many people pop up in that, so what if they all end up in Deadpool 3 and it's like this universe with a bunch of washed up superheroes and it's just used for comedy, kind of poking fun at this over theorizing that goes on and none of them actually play a big role. It's almost like in Deadpool 2, like when Deadpool opens that door and all of the X-Men are there and they just close the door on him. Something along those lines would be hilarious to include Elektra in. But regardless, I have faith that bringing her on will be warranted. And like I said, it's a Deadpool movie. They're gonna rely on this humor. I think it will work within the context of the movie. But yeah, that's a huge drop. The Hollywood Reporter put out this article saying Jennifer Garner is back as Elektra. And that kind of opens the door to this whole conversation of will this movie bring in a lot of other Fox X men or fox marvel characters you've got electra you've got hugh jackman does this open the door for cyclops played by james marsden or halle berry's storm i think so i think we could also see a magneto appearance we could see a beast appearance like there's going to be a lot of cameos in this film i think but that's not the reason that I think we should go watch this movie. I think there will be cameo appearances to sort of poke fun of, but also give us clarity on the closure of the Fox X-Men universe in a way. I think that's what this movie is literally going to do. It's going to introduce Deadpool into the MCU pretty seamlessly, but it's also going to close the door on that entire universe and be like, hey, this is we're wiping our hands at this. The whole Fox universe is donezo, just so that there's no confusion for anybody. And Deadpool's the person who can kind of mediate the two universes because he will be the one going from the Fox universe into the MCU. Again, I don't think Ryan Reynolds would come back if this movie was going to be bad. That's why it's most anticipated, because I love the first two Deadpool films, and I firmly believe he would deliver. Same with Hugh Jackman. I don't think he would come back if this movie was going to be bad. This is one of the MCU products I have the most confidence in, especially with the talent involved both on screen and off screen. So I think Deadpool 3 is going to be a hit, and the movie comes out in May of next year. The countdown is on. This is wild that the film is already close to being done with filming, I believe. And what's really crazy is that we're probably going to get a trailer for this movie by the end of 2023. That's nuts. That is wild, and I cannot wait for Deadpool 3. But what are your predictions for this film? Let me know in the comments down below. Are you excited? Are you skeptical? Let me know all that and more down below and hit that like button. Subscribe and hit that notification bell to help me reach my goal of 85,000 subscribers here on the channel. It means a lot. And also, check out my Patreon link down below. We got the Discord server, early access to videos, extra videos, live Q&As. It's been a fun time growing that community. Anything goes a long way, so check that out. Link down below. But thank you all so much for watching, and until next time, I'll see you guys later.